Thank you very much for in inviting me to speak on behalf of Barnes' Stand Up to Racism today. Um, I want to start really by saying one of the main arguments that, get push that gets pushed at us by the Daily Mail and such is that uh, migrant workers, refugees, asylum seekers are to blame for all our problems. And you've only got to listen to the speeches we've heard so far this afternoon to make it absolutely clear that you know, low wages are not down to migrant workers. And the way to fight that is to bring together the migrant workers, the British workers, to fight together in their unions to actually turn things around. And I've been really excited to hear about the, the struggles in Sports Direct, in Assos, and at Pennine Foods that are actually showing us that way forward, the way we can confront that argument. Because I think it's very worrying that the run-up to the election is likely to see a ratcheting up again of racist arguments. Uh, Theresa May wants to make the election totally about her hard Brexit, and we've already seen what that means in terms of the attitude to migrant workers in this country. Uh, the fact that, as, as Dave said at the beginning, they're being used as a bargaining chip, not as people with lives, with families here, with futures that they've built that are under threat. And when we look at the reality of migrant workers in this country, you know, what are we going to do without them? We've got 92,000 EU nationals who work in the social care sector, which is under massive crisis with homes and care being cut all the time. There are 55,000 EU nationals who are nurses and doctors in the EU, and there are 146 migrant, uh, EU nationals who work in the education sector. These are people who help keep our services going, who help provide the, uh, the things that we need who are under threat. So that use of migrant workers is absolutely disgraceful. It's one of the things that uh, Stand Up to Racism has been campaigning against. We also campaign in defence of refugees and, uh, and asylum seekers to this country. Uh, one of the things that is utterly disgraceful, of course, this year has been the, the, um, the cut in the dubs, uh, the attack on, on the dubs amendment that was passed in Parliament last year and was forecast to mean that 3,000 unaccompanied child refugees would be brought to Britain. When the Tories closed the scheme a few months ago, the figure was 350 who had been brought here. Pressure and political campaigning has meant that they've announced this week a further 130 will be brought in, far short of the 3,000 we were promised, and a drop in the ocean when you look at the situation in Europe where there are 90,000 unaccompanied child refugees some of them camping wild out in the woods near Dunkirk and Calais in France. Absolutely tragic, terrible situation, but we're expected to blame these people for the, the cuts and the austerity and the suffering that we're putting up with. So Stand Up to Racism stands up against these attacks on, uh, on, on groups who aren't there to threaten our livelihood, but a part of our community, a part of our society, and should be welcomed and brought together. Um, the Stand Up to Racism also has a, an international flavour. You'll see from uh, one of the placards on our, on our stall over there is Stop Trump, who has been invited to come to, uh, to Britain in October, and we will be mobilising massively to, uh, to make his, uh, his visit as... Um, lively as we possibly can to let him know that he's not welcome here. Uh, this, in, Le, uh, in France you've got the threat of Le Pen obviously in the runoffs in the election and we, you know, we're arguing, standing, sending out leaflets, talking about the threat of fascism and far-right politics around Europe and the need to stand up to that. What we try and do is bring together people from trade unions, people from the communities, Everybody, students, elderly people, anybody who wants to stand up to the threat of racism, wants to resist Islamophobia, anti-Semitism and racism, prejudice against asylum seekers and migrants, standing up against racist attacks. Uh, locally, we've run stalls in Barnsley, giving out leaflets, collecting signatures, and we've had a good response. Despite Barnsley's image as a racist town, actually lots of people really have welcomed the fact that we've been out on the streets. They are frightened by the rhetoric, by the hatred that some groups in society including at times the Tory government are prepared to whip up. 
And we need to, we've got to do a job in bringing those people together and showing that we're the majority. The people who want to see a positive society that brings people together, we're the majority. It's the minority who are noisy and horrible and hateful that we want to silence those people. They don't represent the people of Barnsley. They don't represent the people of Britain. So things that you can do, if you're in a trade union, you can raise a motion to support Stand Up To Racism, which is supported nationally by most of the unions in the country, but it's important that local branches give support too, I think. On the table over there, there's a leaflet that says, join Stand Up To Racism, that includes within it a model motion for trade union meetings. So if you're in a position to raise that, please do so. Please leave your contact details if you're not one of the hundreds of people I already send emails to, uh, keeping you up to date with what's happening in the area. There's uh, sheets on there for you to put down your email address so we can keep in touch with you. And there are two up-to-date leaflets, one supporting EU workers and one saying keep racism out of the election. There are large numbers of those leaflets on that table. Please take, one, not, take some, not just for yourself, but if you can use them with friends, families, workmates, then take extra. And the last thing I want to mention is on the 13th of May, two weeks today, there's a regional conference for Stand Up To Racism across South Yorkshire that's going to bring together those people who want to fight back. There'll be a range of national speakers, there'll be workshops, it's a real opportunity to network with people, to share experiences and to actually spread that work of building an alternative. So, you know, our message is very strong. Keep racism out of the election, bring together those people who want to fight back. Let's build for a society that we can all be proud to live in, not one that fosters racism and hatred. Thank you. Thank you.